Coach, congratulations. And I will say that uh, when I came over there at halftime, you were Mr. Cool and said basically more of the same. You know, the only concern, I guess, in the first half, Robinson was hitting shots, and we saw last game three-pointers can't beat you, so nothing to fear there, right? You know, I thought if, we, if we'd have rebounded a little bit better, uh, and, and again, the total rebounds look like it wasn't that big a deal, but uh, they've got, uh, you know, 23 more shots than us. Um, I thought our defense was outstanding. Our, our rebounding could have been a little bit better. If, if, if that had been the case, we'd have won this game in double digits. But the, the, the fact that we held them to 35% shooting the second half, I thought our defense was outstanding. I thought we made plays when we needed to. Um, and, you know, this team, what, what I'm about as proud of as anything, and I told them in the locker room, is their poise. We've handled leads well. We really have. And for a young team, that's unusual. And, you know, it may bite us one of these days, but right now we're, we're pretty calm. You know, besides Matthew's flare he threw up in the stands, and <laughs> we were laughing about that in the locker room. And uh, uh, other than that, I, I thought our, I thought our uh, you know, our, our, our ability to close out was what I'd like to see. So very happy with the win and, uh, you know, just march on in the, in the league and, and uh, just see where this all goes. Yeah, well, it's fun. And there was, uh, we'll tell you more about that. It was a wild night already in the league, not just this game, but some others. But, uh, yeah, you know, 10-0 and now, Coach, just to kind of follow up on the point you were making there. Your team has done a great job in playing from the front. I mean, 10-0 and at the half, when you're up at the half, it's, it's a pretty remarkable number. Yeah, and I think what it, it says as much as anything is that we're engaged in the game. I, I, I feel like the times we've not played well this year, we just haven't been totally engaged early on. And then you get behind, you try to get back in, and – and uh, most of the time in college basketball, a team that gets a lead wins. And if you can just, um, you know, hold on and, and, you know, we had the 10 or 12-point lead the first half, I told him, I said, Stephen F. Austin was uh, up 15-2 to two on this team. This team is not going away. They won't quit. They, they love their coach. They play for him, and they play hard. And uh, this is just another hard-fought conference game. And, you know, I, I know sometimes we look and say, well, you're up 10. You should have put them away. And that's not the way conferences work. And uh, so, you know, just the fact that uh, you get a win against a quality opponent, that's, that's a big deal. Well, you guys uh, got a lot of good looks. I thought you ran a lot of really good offensive stuff tonight. And then the 19-26 to 26 at the free throw line. Uh, Coach, you sat here a few games ago and really challenged Hayden. He wasn't listening, but uh, you, you kind of <laughs> called him out a little bit. And, and since then, he has been so good. And I told you on the coaches show Monday night, I thought he should have been probably named player of the week. Mm -hmm. Well, he certainly made a statement tonight, 22 points, five rebounds, the seven blocks. And, I mean, there was not a doubt about those. I mean, it was there was never even a question about a foul call on those block shots. They were clean and they were impressive. And he dominated tonight. When you have a guy at the rim that can block shots like that, it, it, it really changes the, the complexity of the other team's offense. And, you know, even though he didn't play a lot, SK came in and blocked two shots. Yeah. So from your center spot, you, you had nine, nine takeaways at the rim, and that's, that's just huge. But, you know, I, I, never, I never challenged guys on the radio that I didn't challenge them in my office. So uh, if for anyone listening out there, we, uh, what we say here publicly has been said privately too, and he really uh, – Took that, uh, he took that to heart, and he's been playing awful well ever since. Eddie Kyle another double-digit game coach, and, and it's funny because we were talking about it, I guess, the other day, the Incarnate Word game where he had the quietest 18 of all time. Falls it up with 16 on the weekend and another double-digit game. It's funny, when he's matched up with a freshman, I think, well, there's the upperclassman going against the – oh, no, wait, they're both freshmen. He just plays like a mature player. I love the way he's helping your team in a number of ways. You know, he's played so much international basketball. He's represented his country in France, and he's played in the Euro European games at his appropriate age. And then he played at Oak Hill Academy. I mean, that Eddie is like about a 10-year veteran in the NBA. I mean, he's been playing since he was a little boy in a lot of different environments. So uh, this doesn't this doesn't phase him at all. And, and he is uh, – he's really a, – a, a, a tough matchup for people because of his skill level. He can make the three, he can post, he can put the ball on the deck, and, and uh, another good game by him. Four-game winning streak. It's the third time since you've been at Central Arkansas that you've had a four-game winning streak. Trying to get five, and it'll be tough on the road. Abilene Christian tonight, Coach, and you probably haven't heard yet, on the road at SFA, they are up seven with under a minute to go, and they lose after the Lumberjacks go on an 8-0 run. Another night in the Southland. Wow. But they are going to be playing, I'm sure, desperate at home. It should be a heck of a matchup, and you said it in – your pregame talk with Steve East, you said, you know, obviously fought to get to four against a team with three. 
He fought to get to five against the team with four. Now you're going to try to get to six against the team with five. It's just climbing that ladder. Yeah, it's, it, it will be difficult. We've won the last two years in Abilene, and they that's probably not lost on them. And, of course, uh, dramatic fashion last year with Thatch Unruh uh, put back of a Jordan Howard miss. And, and uh, they're an awful good team. They're a seasoned team. You know, they're like almost the total opposite of us. They have a bunch of seniors, and they've played together in a lot of games. So we're going to have to be, uh, we're gonna have to be awful good uh, on Saturday afternoon. And then we follow that up with a little trip to uh, – Stephen F. Austin. So the, we knew this was a tough part of the schedule when we looked at it uh, w before we even started the season. And I, I felt like this New Orleans game was huge for us because, uh, you know, you get the first one of the three tough ones. Now, man, you're playing with house money on these next two. So uh, we'll, we'll give it our best, and hopefully it's good enough. Well, your team has shown that they're very good away from home as well as being solid here at the uh, Fair Center. One last point I wanted to make, too, 36.5% you hold New Orleans to. Your team is really becoming – uh, a solid defensive team. We really are. The guys are starting to take pride in that. And uh, like I said, when we shore up our defensive rebounding just a little bit more, uh, we're going to be we're going to really be good because we what we have to do is capitalize, you know, on uh, whatever that is, 65% or misses. You got to capitalize on that a little bit more. But I, I like the effort we're putting in, and uh, the guys are really starting to see the benefit when you guard. You you have a chance to win every game.